I want to share something with you. The Apostle Paul says it really well in the Bible, and he said, and I'm going to quote my way of speaking, but he said, I know what it's like to have need, and I know what it's like to have plenty. In other words, the Apostle Paul had a part in his life where he was in great need. He had a great need in his life. And then there was a point in his life where he had plenty, and he didn't have that need. Every single story in the Bible, you hear of that. You know, Jacob, you hear all of these things where, you know, they were in need and they were poor and they didn't have anything. And then in life, they came to a point where they did have everything and they did have things. And that is life. Life ebbs and flows. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was in a point in my life where we were cutting everything out in order to pay our bills and in order to get back on track again. In my videos, I burned my garbage. In my videos, I did all of these things that because we didn't have the monetary amount to be able to have a comfortable life. I have more of a comfortable life now. I do not apologize for that one bit. You will be seeing in upcoming videos some different things that I have. Am I rich? No. Am I buying a mansion? Am I moving? No. I have our mobile home, a 1963 mobile home, but we are upgrading our property. We did upgrade some other things in our lives, which you will see on video. And that brings me to this point. And this point is, I have never made an apology or I've never tried to hide the fact that I work for Amazon. Amazon has made my life a much easier life when it comes to being able to fix my property and to be able to have some things in life that were standard for a lot of people, but for many years for me, I didn't have. We do have garbage service now. There are some things that you're going to be seeing in my videos because we made drastic moves to better our life. I don't apologize for working for Amazon. I work a total of 12 hours a day, six hours for YouTube and six hours for Amazon. And Amazon has made my life a lot easier. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty because the squeaky wheels like to talk about Amazon and how their products are from China. I understand that. My shirt is probably not American. My pants are probably not American. My bandana is probably not American. My clips and my hair are probably not American. Do I promote things that aren't American? I sure do. Do I always agree with those countries who make things that I have? I don't. I don't always approve the food that we eat. Some of that is probably not from America. I don't approve the gas that we use in our tank, but that probably is not from America. Do I approve of all the things that are done and made in China? No, I don't. But I live in a world where consumerism is from around the world. I would love to promote only U.S. products. That's not going to happen because USA products are not easy to promote. Nobody comes to me from the U.S., okay? And I will promote the products that are helping pay my bills, and I will promote those products if I enjoy them. You've seen on my channel many times that I said, don't buy this or don't buy that. I do not promote anything that I feel that it's not a good product. I know there are gonna be some people who aren't gonna like my videos because they only watched me to see how severe and how extreme I was in being frugal. I know there was a lot of people that watched my videos because they said I was poor old me and they wanted to make fun of me and they wanted to watch my videos to mock the things that I did. I know there was a lot of people who watched my videos and they pitied me. They felt like I really lived a life that was a hard life. I know there's a lot of people who watch my videos because they like me. They like who I am, they like what I stand for, and they like me for being me. I know there's a lot of people who watch me for many different reasons. But one of the things that I want people to understand is, I am not going to apologize 
for being successful. I will not apologize for that. I have worked really hard. In fact, I'm not gonna say this in pride, but I believe in my heart that I am one of the hardest working people that there is around. That's simply because nothing's coming to me on a silver platter. Nothing was handed to me, nothing was given to me. I worked for all of these things and I work really hard. And so now I'm able to have a few things to make my life a little easier. Will I next year have a hard life again? Or the next year or the next year? Will I have to go back to burning my trash? Will I have to go back to all of these things that I did because I had to? I may. But right now, in this season of my life, I am working really hard to provide for my husband and me a retirement. I'm working really hard to provide for my husband and me a little bit of an easier life getting our plumbing fixed, maybe even getting a dryer and a washing machine, all of these things I'm working hard to because I know that not forever I'm going to have the energy and the strength to do all of these things. So I do work for Amazon. I try to take all of my product reviews as much as I possibly can off my channel. But if there is a product review on the channel, you don't need to watch it. I love endorsing things that are fun. I love endorsing things that I like. And I know not everybody can buy them. I sure couldn't buy them, and I'll be the first one to tell you that. I couldn't buy a whole bunch of things. But those are people that love my product reviews. In fact, there are people that watch my videos who like my product reviews, who like to buy things. Not everybody who watches my videos are low income, and not everybody who watches my videos have only a certain amount of money. There are people who watch my videos that are middle to upper class as well. My videos are for everyone. I'm not labeling my videos, poor man this, poor man that. I'm not labeling them anything like that. And so it's a little bit of a rant maybe, but I wanted you to understand my heart a little bit. If you don't like my videos because you feel I support Amazon, then you don't have to watch. And I don't mean that out of cockiness. I just mean nobody's making you watch my videos. And I am not going to stop working for Amazon simply because I have a handful of people that say, oh, they don't like it. Are you gonna pay my bills? I wanna share something with you. I really want to say this. Because I work two full-time jobs now, I was able to pay my 20 over $20,000 hospital bill. I paid that in one year because every single dime of my money went towards my hospital bill. I didn't have a GoFundMe. People wanted me to. I didn't have any of that. I worked hard to pay off my hospital bill. And maybe I can soon have health insurance again and have the things that most people have. And so, that is where my heart is. And I'm done apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry you don't like this video. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't like my hair. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm done doing that. You see in life, we are to apologize when we hurt someone's feelings. In other words, if we are rude or unkind to someone, or if we make a promise to someone that we're gonna do something for them and we don't do it, then you say you're sorry. But as people who feel like they're victims, they will always say they're sorry. They'll, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry you don't like this and like that. I had said at times years ago about not promoting things, but you know, I really thought about it. And I thought, wow, why would I stifle myself? And why would I hinder myself from growing successfully or hinder myself or not paying bills or helping my husband a little bit? out and that he doesn't have to work quite so hard at home here and that we could get some things done, why would I not allow myself to succeed in life because there's people who don't want to see certain things. I realized that I have to do what I got to do. People aren't going to pay my bills. People aren't going to take care of me. I need to take care of myself. And you know, I am so utterly thankful 
that I am able to work for Amazon. I don't know how long I will be able to work for Amazon. I don't know what's going to happen in the economy in this world. But I am at a point in my life where my hard work is paying off. And it's amazing. I never dreamed that I could do something that would actually help our life in such a way. I believe that women need to equip other women and not tear them down. I've always believed that. And I know there's a few people now their feathers are ruffled because I'm showing success on my channel. I will continue to show success on my channel in ways that is going to really ruffle their feathers. But you know what? I'm debt free. And we pay our bills and I don't apologize for it. And so if you don't like a channel that is going to show a little bit of success through hard work, then you won't want to watch this one because there, there's some things that are going on here that are going to be exciting in the next couple weeks. And I'm really happy about it. And if you can't be happy for someone when they are growing and showing success and they're helping themselves out by working hard, well, then you're not happy for anybody for anything. I know misery loves company. And I'm still going to be sharing about saving money because we don't spend a lot of money, but what we did spend on was things that were needed and things that will help make our life a little better. And so you're going to see salvaging food. You're going to see, you know, living frugal. I still at this moment is still hauling water out of my house, but that may not be very long anymore. And it's going to be exciting. So, you know, in life, your, your life is in ebbs and flows. You know, you're on the mountaintops and you're in the valleys. You're on the mountaintops and you're in the valleys. But I decided a year ago when I felt so utterly defeated, I decided, am I gonna lay down and die? Be depressed, cry all the time, have anxiety, getting a stroke, being overweight, having issues? Or am I going to do something about it? Because nobody else is gonna do it for me. And with God's help, I did. God picked me up off the ground, literally. And he gave me a new life. He gave me the ability to work and to work through all of the things that I was going through and to work through my feelings. I didn't eat my feelings, I worked through my feelings. And now I am sitting here a year later, a year later, and I am utterly amazed at the progress of our homestead. Not one dime of anything that happened here was given to us. Not a dime. One dime was given to us. No donations. You know, this was hard work. People who work away have the hardest work in their life. I didn't know anything what it was like to work away. Yeah, I work from home, which is such a blessing. But I didn't know what it was like to work. And it is work. <laughs> so you're not hurting my feelings by condemning me about, you know, working with and for Amazon. You're not hurting my feelings whatsoever. You know, we live in an economy where I don't agree with anything, the government, pretty much. I don't agree with any of it, but we live here. Like, I can't, you know, you know, the people that used to say, oh, they're going to move so to another country because they don't like our country anymore. I mean, that's ridiculous. We live in it. We are in the world, but not of it. I'm in this world. I am part of this world's ecosystem. I am part of this world. And I don't agree with a lot of the things. And I take a stand. You will see me endorsing some products of companies that I do agree with. And it's a conservativeness. I'm conservative. I am not embarrassed to say that. I'm conservative. I love all people, but I'm conservative. And so, yeah, if Martin's Rolls, Martin's Rolls is very dear to my heart, and some of you know why. <laughs> Let's just say the word Martin has been ingrained in my life ever since I was mm, six weeks old. <laughs> Martin's Rolls is a big part of my life, and I will endorse them. And some people may not endorse them, but you know what? Let's stop being so picky and nitty gritty about things, you know, and let's just enjoy life and enjoy people and enjoy the things that we like. If you are that dead set against Amazon, then don't watch my channel if that really upsets you. And that's okay. We are a melting pot of a lot of people.
And so I do like to support everyone. You have to understand something else yet before I leave. I wanna say this really quick. I am and will always be Shinari's kid. So my parents devoted a lot of money, a lot of money to missions. So I will always support countries. I don't support leadership. I support people. And I support the people of all countries. Look at us and the country we're living in. Is it my fault? Is it your fault? You know, that there's things that are happening that we don't approve of? We're the people. You know, there's certain things that we can do to help, you know, but in, in the long run, unless I run for presidency, which, hey, you never know, <laughs> which that wouldn't happen, right? <laughs> you know, there's only so much you can do. And so I am a missionary's kid. And so I love countries. I support countries. And, you know, I don't support the things that some countries do. I don't support the things our country does. But my life has just turned around and I'm so blessed by it. And I know that it's the Lord who brought it to me. And as long as I have it, I am going to continue to work really hard at what I do. And when I am in my 60s and 70s, who knows, there might even not be a YouTube. I'm not gonna sit in my lazy boy and say, oh, I shouldn't have done that video showing an Amazon product because so-and-so didn't like it. I won't even remember the so-and-so who didn't like it. I can guarantee you that. All right, everyone, I rambled long enough. I hope you, I hope you understood. This is how it's going to be. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I got to get back to work.